Bernie Sanders and Alexandria Casio Cortez are both self proclaimed democratic socialists. They both have sparked a new era where socialism is a huge topic of the political conversation. And we've seen this increase in candidates identifying as democratic socialists. New York's Alexandria Ocasio Cortez and Vermont's Bernie Sanders are both democratic socialists. Now you have AOC and you have a uh, hundred of these members of Congress openly embracing this. With socialism being such a huge topic, let's look to a political science professor from City College, as well as two local socialist groups to talk about and understand what socialism really is all about. Uh, I'm Daniel DeSalvo. I'm uh an associate professor and chair of the political science department at the City College of New York. Now, we sort of know what capitalism is, market-based society. The democratic socialism part is uh, usually seen as socialism in some kind of concrete institutional arrangement. And in addition, it would be respectful of individual rights, social democracy, maintaining you know, a protection of individual rights in private property and the market, but combining it with um, public goods and public support that, in a sense, takes the rough edges off of uh, and sharp, sharp corners off of capitalism. YDSA is the youth and uh, co college wing of DSA, the Democratic Socialists of America. My name is Nina Sversky. I go to NYU YDSA. I'm a member of their YDSA chapter and I am the citywide co-chair of YDSA. Uh, my name is Alex Pelletieri. I am a member of Hunter College YDSA and I'm also the citywide co-chair of YDSA. Democratic socialism means that once we have socialism, we also have democracy. Democracy is very flawed, if it exists at all, under capitalism. You know, we, we can't confuse democratic socialism with something like a social democracy, which are like reforms within the existing capitalist system. When I say extending democracy to the workplace, um, I mean that workers' control over the economy is something that we believe in. And that goes further than just expanding the welfare state. We see a lot of these short-term reforms like Medicare for All and the Green New Deal as a way of building up working people's power. I, I think Bernie's and AOC's policies are, are tend to lean more towards social democratic policies, which you know there's a lot of reasons why they may have those. Socialism in America, it would look very different. First, there would not be the American empire that there is today. It would be the workers who are collectively own a business who each um, get an equal distribution of that business's profits. The PSL is a national um, socialist political party. We're a Marxist-Leninist political party. We believe that we need a new system, socialism, um, and that would actually put the power of society into the hands of regular everyday people instead of the 1%. All right, um, my name is Monica Cruz. I'm a queer afro Boricua organizer from New Jersey. Um, I'm a, and now I live in New York, and I'm an organizer and member with the Party for Socialism and Liberation in the New York branch. My name is Sophia Weissman. I'm a member of the Party for Socialism and Liberation, um, as well as the Justice Center in El Barrio. Um, so a socialist system is a system where the workers and the people run the society and get to share the wealth and use it to advance um, the cause of the common people. Um, you know, politicians like Bernie Sanders and AOC have really started some amazing conversations in our country about what socialism is and what it means to be a socialist, um, and I, I do think that's a really important moment for our country. Um, ultimately, though, I think that we really um, need to look to um, like organizations run by workers and, and worker power um, when we think about what it would really mean to create a socialist society. The first thing that, that the major media outlets get wrong about socialism um, is like the the idea that it's like a, a like a fascist dictatorship, right? But like actually socialism is, is not about that. It's about people and people actually electing representatives who actually look like them, make the same amount of money like them, work like them, not you know billionaires and millionaires who um, you know, who don't represent our voices at all. Whenever we hear about socialism, it's in a negative way. The way that they spin the poverty and economic hardship in a lot of places um, that have, you know, undergone a socialist project, like what is happening in Cuba, like all this poverty is literally a direct result of sanctions that the U.S. has put on Cuba for decades, and they have been economically blocked out. That's spun as, oh, this is a this is a result of socialism. Here in America, socialism really could look like a prosperous society, but a prosperous society for many, not just a prosperous society for few. 
Hopefully you have a better understanding of what socialism is. I encourage you to do your own research into the political ideology. I'm Nia Merkulabali, reporting from New York City.